Hey everybody, I'm here with the book, You Can Do Hard Things by Sherry Lynn Akala. And we're in chapter three, You Can Fail Forward. And again, this book is structured by the excuses that we often use or we often hear about and how we can ditch those excuses to achieve our dreams. So um, we're gonna dive into failing forward. And, you know, this is a, a really interesting topic. Um, I do like this topic uh, because it's in all of us, you know, where all of us, it's always, all of us experience a level of being scared about something and it prevents us sometimes from taking action because we're afraid of failing. My story, one of my stories, is when I joined Avon back in April of last year, my upline told me that I needed to do videos. Just hearing the words put a, a streak of failure, a streak of fear into me. I was like scared to death of it. Um, the thought of being on camera, taking my picture, not, not even the video, just taking my picture. I didn't even want to put myself out there. That was scary, scary enough. And I just couldn't imagine. I wanted to do it. I really wanted to do it, but I was scared and I still get scared. Believe me, I get scared. I'm not real great about it, but I'm better than what I used to be. And, and my first attempts, I did voiceovers. I put a picture of myself and just do a voiceover. Um, sometimes I just did product pictures. Uh, so I do some of that still um, because my confidence isn't all the way up, but it's getting better. And that's what it's about. You got to keep you got to keep doing it and keep trying because, you know, sometimes you are going to fail and you're going to fall down and you just need to get back up and keep going. Um, sometimes we stop ourselves from trying because we want to protect ourselves from feeling that failure. But the problem is, is later down the road, you start asking yourself questions like, what if? What if I had done that? Where would I be today? You know, a year ago, I was scared to death to get in front of a camera. And I'm here today talking about this book, doing other videos, and posting at least once or twice a week on my YouTube channel. Who would have ever thought but I wouldn't be here today if I did not fail forward, okay? Um, sometimes, like I said, we, we guard our hearts because we don't, want to, we don't want to feel the disappointment or the fear or fear, feel the failure, but are we really protecting ourselves? Are we really? Because by doing that, you're preventing yourself from experiencing other joys, from growing, from maybe getting closer to your dreams. Because sometimes to succeed, you have to fail. You will fail. Because failing is a symptom of trying. So you have to keep going. Um, if you keep going, you keep trying, success will come, but you got to keep going. You never know. You never know what opportunities will open up for you if you don't even try. And you know what? The first round of failure is not the finish line. Okay? That isn't it. You know, you got to get back up and keep going. In fact, falling down, it's not falling down unless you stay down. Unless you give up, that's falling down. But if you get back up, that's failing forward. 
In fact, a lot of times people will look at failing forward or falling down as a setback. It's not really a setback, but a set up. Okay? You look at some of the the greatest people that are out there. They've all experienced failures. You know, Oprah Winfrey, J.K. Rawlings, they had failures in their beginnings, but that didn't stop them. It was a set up to their successes. And that's the way you have to look at it. Everyone has a right to pursue their dreams. And failure brings us closer to those dreams. So how do you get over the fear of failure then? You know, you got to replace the fear with faith. Okay. You got to replace it with faith. Ask yourself, what is it that you're afraid of? Are you afraid of other people? Or is it your own insecurities? Many times, oftentimes, the, the fear, it's in the six inches between our ears. That's right. That's where it lies. And we need to replace that fear with the truth, with the faith. Don't shrink your dreams down because of that fear. Okay, um, I'm going to read here just a little bit. The key to stop doubting yourself and quit fearing failure is to take captive of every thought. Stop letting negative thoughts and fears fill your mind. Take them captive. Press pause and meet the negative thought with the truth. If you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. So believe that you can. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. All things. When is the last time you actually believed this? Yeah. So know that, yes, your dreams might scare you. But as you take these fears captive... Take heart and learn that if you're going to fail, at least you're failing forward. Okay? So, fail forward. That just means you're trying. Keep going. Okay? I'm going to leave you with two questions for reflection. Um, where are they? Here they are. Okay. I'll, and I want you to write them down. Sometimes when you write things down and you look at it, you can go back and read it and your subconscious is taking it in more. So I want you to write down exactly what are you most scared of failing at? Okay. And the second question is, what would you do if you knew that you wouldn't fail? Okay. So write those down and think about those. All right. So the next chapter, chapter four, you can have vision. So we're going to talk about having a vision next week. So y'all have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.